and we're recording. <sighs> Hello everyone, my name's CJ. T Today I'll be showing you how to fucking use an emulator to play fucking DS games. I can't specify as enough. Now I'm only making this and this is my second time doing this because I made one some time ago. Um, these are for people who don't know how to, to get um their old NES games to play again. Now, from what I have seen, most work, but there are bugs. So I, today I will be just showing the two I only use, and I'll be showing just simple, just simple like how to do it. That's all I'm gonna do. I can't show much else. Like I'll probably make a specific reason why I use the other and that shit, but for now, I will just show you just how to get it, and how to use it. Now, we're gonna start, um, now I got Google Chrome boot up here, cause you know, I'm, I'm this gay person who likes, to, like, who just doesn't want to use, like, I, I use fucking Firefox, people, I use Firefox, not this. But I simply have, uh, three, well, just two, cause these include the same one, but this is, will be used on a different build, because, I like to specify what I was using, but even then I can't because the original one did go down. Which would be this build. So let's go through this. One of the best ones you want to go to at first, and oh, I'm forgetting no GBA as well. Uh, we'll just go to the ones I just mostly to use. So I'll simply say this, you do need a decent computer to run all this. You can't just have a really shitty laptop like I did, because you won't get full frames. Even if you were to make your th make a thing as like performance, like less perform, make it less performance, your thing's gonna still shit itself. So make sure you have decent decent specs. I can't tell you what is considered decent specs, but usually they would just it usually will set itself. So first thing will be um. Would be would go with Decimum first because Melon is a lot more. It's only one build, and I can't just and I just use that build in general. I've already got mine downloaded here, and I got on sidetracked. But let's let's continue. So since I didn't read this, I didn't realize when I first fucking booted this shit up. Um, this is a newer build now. I would always suggest you use a newer build for this, so if you ever want to use a newer build, and I have to stress, I don't know for Mac side, and it says here just to use this for Mac, like legitimately, like for literal Mac users, so if you're a Windows user, this is just more easier for me, so we'll just be doing Windows for now. Go to this link, which I will hopefully post it in the fucking description, to this. Double click this, and download this, which I have made it so it downloads to my desktop. Yeah, but it doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So let me show a photo. Can I show me a folder? Show and folder. Strange. Oh. Yeah, close that, close that. Give me a minute. Oh, it's cancelled. Fuck me, I'm dumb. But yeah, so we'll use, we'll just, be, we'll just specify what I was using most of the time. Now, I was actually using a build with RetroArch of Decimu. That's what build I was specifically using now. One day I'll go through the other two, but for now it's just these two, which is Melon and Decimu. Now, what you do, you choose which version you actually use. So, for me, I use literally, which is do not use. This still can be used, trust me, this still can be used. Even though it says. But, like, I always will say, I use this. Because this build worked. Even though it says it was this. Like, the mysterious Japanese thing. This did work pretty much, but the website is down. And I sadly, I, can, I have it, but I cannot remember. Uh, I just won't be showing this build, but the only difference from 
the build we're using, we're going to show off now and this build, is that you could um, increase the resolution of the um, all the images or like models of the characters. Look at Bells is not a great example as you don't see it, but for the Zuvo series, which was a season two part where I sped through it, you could see the, the you could see they were a lot more smoother. So let's continue. Now I have Room One installed, but if you don't, it, it should be just a zip file, which normally you just right click or just normal click and extract. But I'll just extract the files here, and done. Once you get that, you basically open this. And you put your ROM. Now, your ROM, I'm not going to specifically tell you where to get the ROM. Because I have a sense of, I w if I am to spill where it is, it will get knocked. Now, even though I'm a small YouTuber, I do not want to view it. So you will have to look for your own. Remember, it's always an NDS. If it's like in a RAR or something, do double click the RAR and double check there's an NDS in there. If it's not, then you've just downloaded the virus like a dumb person. Sadly, it's kind of true. So, can't recommend where to find, but you have to do find it in your own time. I'm sorry about that. I might just put just Lego Battles, I probably will just make a mega or Google Drive folder of this and just let people just use this version of Lego Battles, but still, it's not even the version of mine. It's still somewhere online. So, once you do that, um, Yeah, you either drag it, or if you really wanted to, you could open recent ROM info, pause. You could basically just open or get the recent, which is already grabbed. It's going to load. Yikes, I forget that's loud. And yeah, it loads fine. Now, if you have a weaker computer, now this is just a game game rig in general, so this is going to just blow this out of the way. But if you need to like try to lower the settings, a lot of the time you can frame skip it. But I would I would advise to skip frame setting until like the final like if you can't get any lower. Never to like put an upper one because that means that um instead of just going you you um a unit moving left to right in fine frames he does it in three frames which you think oh that looks that's fine that doesn't it actually fucks because that means the other units will just sped in the more frames you add on the more worse it gets it gets to the point where people just go across the map without you seeing it's not worth three settings. Probably just put it on either. I uh, just put it on software advisor. It's one of the weaker ones, and it's more and disable this shit if you have to. Um, sound, firmware, hot, um, microphone. That's a different problem, and I've stated before. Um, anything else? Save type. Save type. I'm not gonna touch. Um, for journal. ROM loading, you should probably always change it to, um, I think it's, yeah, stream. And control is basically where you change the control, so if I want to move up in any game, it's usually that. Left is left, down is down, right is right, and for how this is set up, yeah.
Edo at a different time. <sighs> okay. And yeah, a bunch of other buttons. And hockey is basically like the actual ROMs, what they can do and shit, but I don't really touch it. Um, and yeah, display methods you might want to change if you're doing something different, but usually you don't want to change it and don't touch the most. And I think the only thing else I want to show is probably 3D settings if it's here. No, it's not. Um, it's in firmware settings, I believe. No. Emulation settings. The best thing you want to do is turn this off and put that to 100 if possible and enable that. Which, if you see here, it's... Yep. Probably always save before you do any change anything in the emulator, because it can break. I've seen that happen before, my thing just broke. And, yeah, that's simply how it works. Um, top your... I'm bad at this, no matter what, but... That's basically how I'm um, run Lego Battles on the PC. That's... That was the main question somebody asked, and I forgot to ever, ever answer it, and I get asked multiple times for um, Zubo as well. So this is simply just a guide for that. Um, I think I should show for Melon, since I do have it here, but I will have to show you even a downloaded version of it. Now, I should always specific you're supposed to always use the lowest build, which I will show as well. Um, if you have problems with Windows, you'll just install this, it checks for everything it needs, and then it's done. Melon. Now, Melon is a whole different thing. It's not Mac support, but it's Linux. If we're waiting for this to download, I can show. Good. Now, Melon is a whole different thing, and I do have to specify this because I probably will go into better detail for this. You may think, oh, let's just run it. You'll get this. Now, for this, I have to specify. You might have to go down a diff different video for this because I've forgotten how to do it. But you basically need these three files. It will be slightly different when downloading, and then you have to change it to their specific. Um, thing and it work because I have a version of it working here. Now to see an actual version work, I would have to do this if possible. That even gonna work? Oh, that is gonna work. Now what's good about this one is um it's a little bit more in develop and your saves get shoved wherever um your game is as well. <laughs> Never forget that. Never forget that. There's a lot less things. I would also say be careful when saving pass. As you notice, you have 10 save states and then you have your main save. Your main save is this. This will always what it will always default to. And then you have your salt, you have your states. Never to use file. Why I say that is because for some reason file actually had fucked me over at one point. When doing this, I actually have about 12, 13 saves and end up breaking the game whenever it went backwards. So whenever I went to go change my name in this, it would break. So certain things do break. So be wise, just go to 9 and then basically drag it out. Make sure you rename whatever you're going to do for it and then make it so it's all clean saves again. For this specific game, every game has their own state, so one won't be just Lego Battles, and the next one will just be like um, number two Zubo. It will be all just Lego Battles in general, or all Zubo for that game. System just literally run, which if I play, I'm going to hit my ears. Reset resets the whole emulator, and stop means it just just crash um crashes. Now for all of this, the Wi-Fi setting don't bother, which I gotta say it's actually coming soon. I can't say what, because I'm not a person who knows, I've just read the blog post of the person, so I'm not sure. 
we've got emulated settings which literally just boots the game directly which goes from game instead of just going right to the start of the DS if you've ever had a DS most people do most people do if they remember what this game is import which is the previous one before except there's also um, keyboard and joystick so if I have a fucking PS4 controller I can play this um, hotkey is basically something very similar to that video which this one actually has which was a lot better um, it actually has all of this which means it will get better per thing I will show at one point what that actually fully looks like and I had to use only three examples to me audio is simply just a microphone um, as well as here so if you have your microphone enabled or you have the key enabled you can basically use your microphone it's doing a record for certain games that need the microphone um, and that's it for the email why I use this and it's, it's still the same thing as here why I use this I use this one than Decimute. Decimute is more 3D related. Melon is more 2D related. That's why most of the games I did play more recently was 2D that had this. I'm trying to move it to Melon because it feels it's much more comfortable to use. Now, I think we can finally act it, um, get the final build, which is this. Now, I have to make a whole new folder for this because it's going to spurt me a bunch of crap. Make sure you always put this in a different folder so it doesn't do this. It says Windows Potency. Yeah, you kind of have to. It's dumb, but yeah. And there you go. Do the same thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Play. Where's, where's pause? These have the same settings, slightly added, but you can't tell. So from same skip the same. This is a normal build, so I can't recommend what to do with this. Everything's been changed here, but still always put this to thing. Always put this to 100, or try to get lower, because like I said, the lower the accuracy. But yeah, it's whatever you can do. Um. Oh fuck! I showed the same thing. Sound is here, which the sound's got a little better, but still. That's why I go for Melon. Sound sounds just a lot better for me. Homeware is still the same. Probably want to change this to yourself or something like that. Microphone's still the same. Just make sure you've got a hotkey enabled. Don't never touch this unless you're doing GBA. I don't specifically want to do that, so. And never touch this. Never touch this. Never touch this. Even in the original Decimu, that's how I pronounce it. Do not change this. Do not change this unless you have a good reason. Um, ROM loading is basically like a save here. ROM loading, uh, probably go for stream as well. I'd always recommend that. But it just does better. I don't know. Load sometimes looks worse. Control is the same as previous. Hockey. Wi-Fi is the same as previous. They gave up on this basically. So just don't use this Wi-Fi thing. I'd say just wait a lot longer for somebody to do it better. It's not worth it because from what I see, I could basically get two emulators, like two melons over here, and then they work. Um, path settings, this is where all the crap does to look for anything. Um, but yeah. I think that's all for now. My name's CJ. This probably showed absolute fucking nothing, but still. And I hope you all had a um great day. I suck at doing anything. Uh, so I'll see you all later. It's fucking nineteen minutes. What the?